G'day legends, how are you? And welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Now, I've got something a little bit different today, something I haven't shown on my channel before, and that's chasing threadfin salmon in the Brisbane River. Now, Brizzy is my hometown, and I should really be out here chasing threadies more, but I just don't get around to it. But today, I'm heading out with the man, the master, Nick White. Now, Nick White has just about caught every thready in this river. Absolute gun at it, so really looking forward to learning a lot from him and hopefully getting connected to a few fish. So he's already launched the boat, did it before I got here. I gotta chuck me rods and gear in, and then we gotta get fishing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Fingers crossed we get some threadies. You! Welcome to the Brisbane River. Nick White, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh yeah. Knows every thready in the Brisbane River by name. I wouldn't get that far, Oh, mate. <laughs> Camo, welcome, right. mate. First time meeting Camo. He's gonna show me how to catch threadies also. We've got the TV screens repping the bottom for us. Whitey, what's the plan, mate? I'm going to try and catch these three fish here, mate. One each? If I don't catch two before you. Oh, look. <laughs> I wouldn't put it pastures. I caught my last thready would have been... Oh, it's fish everywhere. I caught my last thready probably three years ago, I reckon. Been a while between drinks, but I'm gonna give it a red hot crack today. If not, I'm gonna learn a lot from these two and um, probably enhance my netting skills. Give it a red hot nudge anyway. Why well, do you look like you're concentrating, mate? Talk to me. What are you looking for? On the, on the bloody flat screens. Looking for about 30 of those. Is that a fish? Yes. Probably can't see it on the GoPro. So you're just running side scan, down scan, and 2D. The stuff either or oh, anywhere really yeah just looking for multiple fish just to i suppose put the the favor in our in our corner so let's be honest i need all the help i can get yeah i can't be i can't be chasing singles no, that's way too hard uh, if we can find a couple we'll get stuck in that's the key to thready fishing don't start fishing until you find them that right camo that's right mate yep <laughs> take its time be patient that is the bait of choice fish trap why well, he's got 160 i got 90 or 95 whatever it is camo's going 110 we've got all bases covered decent show how many fish would you say is in that oh fish on feels caddish Mate, can drag you run. Apparently too light. Bad drag. Steady. Got feelings and emotions, Whitey. It's only my first drop. Oh, that is prestigious. It's a pork eel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a fucking treat. That is. He's forty fucking. That is a pork eel on a vibe on my first drop. Whitey, have you ever done that? No, I can't say that. That's awesome. Good luck with that, though. Can you get it off, being a god? Far out. This is going to be fun. A bit unsure about this thready spot of yours, Whitey. Uh, we're in behind the boat, fishing the staff. Righto. Sure, they got bigger fish. Oh! Yep. Yep. You! Let me bail arm open. Bit of zuz. We've had an inquiry. Um, I'd call this probably a maybe 80 centimetre pike eel. You can tell by the way it's moving. Pike eels really play up the big ones. 
That's a good fish. Let's take some more. I've got my fingers crossed for a nice thready here. Whitey, what's your prediction? They look like ready for that? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that. Bye. And that's a Freddy. Just in the corner of the mouth there. Sick. Sick. There you have it. Our first Freddy of the day. Pretty stoked about that. Crunched a little fish trap. Oh, I'm not going to claim anything of this fish. It's all whitey skill. So, mate, tell us about tech fishing. Yeah, so I've got a business where I'll come out in your boat, run you through your, your electronics, teach you how to use them, what to look for, and um, happen to find a fish like this will we'll get you onto one. So check it out on Facey and yeah, give us a message if, um, if you want to catch up. So guys, take fishing, check it out. You can get yourself some threadies like this, and it's not just Brisbane. It's uh, anywhere on the east coast and even interstate. So if you uh, can't find him, shoot me a message and I'll point you in the right direction. But Want more out of your electronics? Look up Whitey, because uh, this is epic. Yes, got him. Nice one. Good fish. Finally had a bit of a breakthrough. Camo. Do it for us, mate. Is it all? Good fish. Whitey's on. Boy, catch him, Whitey. Okay. Catch him. The drag's. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a heap of fish on the sounder, but they're playing hard to get, and Whitey's just finally hooked one. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all fish. And uh, it's plain hard to get, but so is this one apparently. I got him. Nice little Fred. Nice, Gary. Right, he's good. Give us a quick hold up. Done, mate. Bit of Brizzy River Gold. The importance of learning how to use your sound as eh? Get it back. Oh, get it back. That. Oh. Not done much. Next one. Classic Sammy stitch up. Camo just got his second for the day, and I filmed the whole lot on a camera that wasn't recording. Stitch me up. Oh, I'm a special kind of human. <laughs> Sorry, Camo. That's alright, mate. We'll plus, get another plus one. one. We'll get another one. Bloody old, mate. Yes. Camo. Treating himself. <laughs>
session done and dusted. Four threadies, it's not a bad result, and a couple of losses. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, a few words. Yeah. Oh, well. nah. It's alright, we got a few in the end. It's good, worked hard for them. You can see a lot, they're just pretty shut down. But that's the way it goes, it's uh, still good fun, good to get out there. Give you a bit of a run through the gear we're using when we get home, and um, yeah, call it a day. I did say I'd give you a bit of a run through the tackle, so here we go. I fished a spin and a bait cast, so that's a 3,000 size reel. This is a, uh, a 10 to 20 pound rod, um, 19 pound braid, and I was using about 40 pound leader. Now you can go heavier on the leader, because um, they do have quite raspy mouths, they can wear you off. Uh, 40, 50, 60 is all, all pretty standard. Um, I was using the 95 mil fish trap, so that, that guy there. And then I was also fishing bait cast as well. I didn't catch any on this one, but I probably much prefer to fish bait caster for that style of fishing because you're in direct contact and it's quite easy to flick away, um, just standing up the side of the boat. Uh, this is just a, I think it's a, what is it, 200? Yeah, 200 size bait cast reel. This is a pretty staunch rod, 10 to 20 pound again. Um, and then I've got the same leader, 20 pound braid, or oh, 25 pound braid on this one. And then I've got the, the 50 pound leader on this one. But again, that was another 95 mil fish trap but that's a, that's a good little setup as well. So the main two sources uh, we were using was the, the 95 and the 110. Uh, Whitey chucked the 160 around, but didn't do any good. Um, so yeah, these are the two standout sizes in the fish trap. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple stuff, guys. You don't need a hell of a lot of specialized gear, just some, some medium, medium to heavy spin or bait cast, and you're in with a chance. Grab yourself some vibes. Go check out, um, go check out Whitey, or get him to teach you how to use your sounder, and you'll be into the uh, threadies in no time. All right, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you learned something. Hope you got entertained. Until next time, catch up.